It's time now for the final round. Street Beat, Reggie Wade joins us now. Haven't done sneakers in a little bit, but we've got a hot new release here from Nike that we are going to unbox. Uh, Reggie, we're gonna start with the Jordans. Yes. What the, are we looking at here? What number are we up to with we, the Jordans? It's hard to believe. We're up to 58. No, this is the Air Jordan 34. <laughs> wow. And these All are right. the pair that Zion Williams will wear on uh -huh. the court when he All debuts right. for the New Orleans Pelicans. So we have it here. And here they are, the Air Jordan. 34s. This is one of the lightest shoes I have ever felt. All right. So um, I guess the question now is what is Nike like and what is Jordan getting excited about technology wise? What are they trying to sell here? And I wonder about the lightness because I remember when, when Derek Rose signed his contract with Adidas, his big thing, uh, we show the inside, it's a more, of a more of a black and white there. Um, Derek Rose signed with Adidas and his shoe was very light and then he got injured and a lot of people yeah. said maybe, maybe it was the footwear. Zion actually blew through his pair of PGs <laughs> last year. So what has Nike said about what we're looking at here? Well, I don't think he's going to bust through this because we have this shank plate over here. This is something that's been a staple in the Air Jordan model. And we actually have for the first time the visible air unit over mm -hmm. here. First time that's ever been on an Air Jordan. And this, Zion wanted a light shoe. He's a bigger player, he's yeah, a big guy. big guy. So I think you don't want any extra weight. And I think for the smaller players like Derrick Rose, I think they need actually a heavier, little bulkier shoe. Yeah. So I think this is perfect for Zion. And this is right in line with Nike's doing. They're advancing their tech. They have these mesh materials here that actually, this has some water resistance to it. You can pour a little water on it and it won't get on the other side. So it's good, very breathable. And they actually have a couple of nifty things here like it says 23 here in Morse code. Okay. So just these little things, and that's, yeah. that's what really Nike prides themselves on, their tech and their innovation and their way to put cool little things in the design. Is this the only colorway or do they have it? No, no, this is the brick colorway. This will actually be out on the 10th. The uh -huh. Blue Void colorway was the first one. It debuted yesterday. The price okay. point's $185. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if this will be a big seller. I think if Zion has a good season, I yeah. think these will sell more and more. So I think really that's what it's dependent on. Yeah, it's always interesting for, for Nike trying to find um, kind of street-friendly shoes that are current models, right? Everyone's yeah. wearing, you know, Jordans 1 through 13, but, you know, some players will play in that stuff, but that's not the new stuff that they're putting out. So uh, interesting time there for Nike. Chung, you going to pick these up? I, maybe. I, right I've now. already got tickets to the Zion Williamson's, uh, the Zion Williamson show in uh, Brooklyn. Really? the Nets. Really? What, yeah, what they February, get, What do they get for those? Ooh, it's high. Really? It's going to be it's high. You want to talk about it on air? I, I, might, I might reach that. I don't know. Okay. I All right, fine. I'm always going to sell them. All right.